Welcome back to my channel, where we explore the wonders of the animal kingdom. In this video, we'll be discussing the six major groups of animals, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds, fishes, and invertebrates. First up, let's talk about mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animals, which means they can regulate their body temperature internally. They have hair or fur on their bodies, which can be different colors and patterns depending on the species. There are over 5,000 species of mammals on the earth. Mammals also produce milk to feed their young, which is why they are called mammals, from the Latin word mammary, which means of the breast. Mammals come in all shapes and sizes. Some, like the tiny shrew, can fit in the palm of your hand, while others, like the blue whale, are the largest animals on earth. Mammals can be found on every continent and in every ocean. They have adapted to live in a variety of environments, from the frigid Arctic tundra to the hot and humid rainforests. Mammals have a wide range of behaviors and social structures. Some, like the solitary mountain lion, prefer to live and hunt alone, while others, like the social meerkat, live in groups and work together to find food and protect their young. Some mammals, like bats, are capable of flight, while others, like whales, have evolved to live in the water. Humans are also mammals. We share many characteristics with other mammals, such as having hair and producing milk for our young. However, we are also unique in many ways, such as our ability to use language and create complex societies. Mammals play important roles in many ecosystems. They serve as both predator and prey and help to keep food chains in balance. Many mammals are also important to humans, such as cows and pigs, which we raise for food, and dogs and cats, which we keep as pets. Now let's move on to reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that have dry, scaly skin. They lay eggs to reproduce and are found on every continent except Antarctica. There are over 10,000 species of reptiles, including snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodiles. They are also found all over the world, from the coldest climates of the Arctic to the hot and humid rainforests. Reptiles are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature is regulated by the environment around them. They are covered in scales, which protect their skin and help to prevent water loss. Unlike mammals, reptiles do not have sweat glands so they rely on basking in the sun and seeking out shade to regulate their body temperature. Reptiles have a variety of adaptations that allow them to live in different environments. Some, like desert lizards, are able to go long periods of time without water by extracting moisture from the food that they eat. Others, like sea turtles, have adapted to living in the water and can hold their breath for very long periods of time. Many reptiles are predators, using their sharp teeth and strong jaws to catch and eat prey. Others, like the herbivorous tortoise, eat plants. Some reptiles are venomous, using their venom to subdue prey or defend themselves against predators. Reptiles also play important roles in their ecosystems. They help to control populations of insects and small animals and provide food for larger predators. Some reptiles, like snakes, are also important in controlling rodent populations that can carry diseases. Reptiles are often associated with warm, dry environments like deserts, but they can also be found in forests, swamps, and even the ocean. They are ectothermic, meaning that they rely on the environment to regulate their body temperature. Next up, let's talk about amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals that have smooth, moist skin. They lay eggs in water and are capable of breathing through their skin. There are over 7,000 species of amphibians, including frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. Amphibians are unique in that they are able to live both in water and on land. They begin their lives as aquatic larvae, breathing through their gills, before undergoing metamorphosis into adults that breathe through lungs and have the ability to live on land. Many amphibians have moist, permeable skin that allows them to absorb oxygen and water through their skin, which is important for their survival in both aquatic and terrestrial environments. Amphibians also have a variety of adaptations that allow them to live in different environments. Some, like the tree frog, are able to climb trees 
and live in the canopy of the rainforest. Others, like the axolotl, are able to regenerate their limbs if they are injured. Amphibians play important roles in many ecosystems. They help to control populations of insects and small animals and provide food for larger predators. Some amphibians, like the Sicilian, are important in breaking down plant material and other organic matter. Let's talk about birds. Birds are warm-blooded animals that have feathers and lay eggs. They are found on every continent and have adapted to live in a variety of environments, from deserts to rainforests to the Arctic. Birds are characterized by their feathers, which help them fly, keep them warm, and provide camouflage. They also have lightweight, hollow bones and a highly efficient respiratory system that allows them to fly for long periods of time without getting tired. Birds have so many adaptations that allow them to live in different environments. Some, like the penguin, are adapted to living in very cold climates and have thick layers of fat and waterproof feathers to protect them from the cold. Others, like the hummingbird, are adapted to living in warm climates and have the ability to hover in mid-air. Just like all of the animal kingdom, birds play important roles in their ecosystem. They help to control populations of the insects, small animals, and provide food for larger predators. Some birds, like the vulture, are important in breaking down dead animals and preventing the spread of disease. Birds are also known for their elaborate courtship displays, which can involve singing, dancing, and the building of nests. Some birds, like the albatross, mate for life and travel thousands of miles to reunite with their mate each year. In addition to their ecological and behavioral roles, birds are also very important to humans. They are kept as pets, used for food and hunting, and studied for their beauty and intelligence. Fish are characterized by their streamlined bodies, which are adapted for swimming through water. They have fins and tails that help them to move through the water and gills that allow them to extract oxygen from that water. The mass majority of fish are cold-blooded. However, recently scientists have found a warm-blooded fish known as the moonfish. Fish have a variety of adaptations that allow them to live in different environments. Some, like the shark, are adapted to living in the open ocean and have powerful muscles and sharp teeth to help them catch prey. Others, like the clownfish, are adapted to living in coral reefs and have bright colors and intricate patterns to help them blend in with their surroundings. Fish play important roles in many ecosystems. They help to control populations of smaller fish and invertebrates and provide food for larger predators. Some fish, like the parrotfish, are important in maintaining the health of coral reefs by eating algae that can smother the coral. In addition to their ecological roles, fish are also important to humans. They are caught for food and sport, and some are kept as pets in aquariums. Invertebrates are a diverse group of animals that make up the vast majority of animal species on Earth. Unlike vertebrates, which have a backbone, invertebrates do not have a backbone. Invertebrates come in many shapes and sizes and can be found in a wide range of environments, from the depths of the ocean to the tops of mountains. Some invertebrates, like insects, are very familiar to us, while others, like the giant squid, are mysterious and rarely seen. Despite their differences, invertebrates share some common characteristics. They have soft bodies, often covered by hard exoskeletons, and many have jointed limbs that allow them to move in complex ways. Invertebrates also have a variety of adaptations that allow them to survive in different environments, such as camouflage, venom, and bioluminescence. Invertebrates play important roles in many ecosystems. They help to control populations of other animals, pollinate plants, and break down dead organic matter. Some invertebrates, like coral, are also important in creating habitats for other marine animals. In addition to their ecological roles, invertebrates are also important to humans. They are used for food, medicine, and research. Many scientific discoveries have been made by studying the unique adaptations of invertebrates, such as the ability of jellyfish to regenerate their tentacles. In conclusion, the animal kingdom is incredibly diverse and fascinating. From mammals to reptiles, amphibians to birds, fish 
to invertebrates, each group has its own unique characteristics and adaptations that allow them to survive and thrive in their environments. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more science, technology, and engineering content. See you later.